Welcome back to the course Learn Blockchain. Today we will be talking about security. We have two topics, Ethereum virtual machine and gas. Let's see how they relate to security. Okay, so here is our system so far. We have blockchain, network, smart contracts, transactions and all. You can see the system has grown and become complex. And in complex system, there are security threats. Among them, the most obvious threat that might pop up from our discussions are one we have already discussed that is whole notion of loops bitcoin script does not include loops as they may encounter infinite loops or large computation loop which slow down the whole network but how ethereum managed to include loops and solve that problem we haven't discussed it yet and another problem that might pop up while discussing about smart contracts is smart contracts run on every single node of the network then how convenient is that for a virus if somebody writes a virus as a smart contract and send it out to the whole network, then all the nodes and machine will be infected. And it's the end. Beside virus, what if those smart contracts get access to our private information? What if they access other files from our hard drive, access to our webcam or other thing? Where is the protection from all these things? So these are the two main security threats that we are going to learn today. And by looking at the title of the video, you might have guessed the solution to these threads. So these are the two threads, one viruses and access to the private files, then another one infinite loop or heavy computation. Now let's see the solution to these threads. Let's start with the first problem, viruses and access to the private files. When you participate in a network, you actually get it's a Ethereum virtual machine, EVM. And what's the EVM is, it's a virtual machine that is running on your computer, therefore it completely encapsulates everything in it. So these smart contracts, they are running on your computer but in the virtual machine. It's like having a computer inside a computer. You have that virtual machine on your computer and nothing can get out of that virtual machine. So anything that happens inside the EVM has no effect on your computer and in fact they don't know about anything outside that EVM. So it guarantees everything that happens in the AVM stays in the AVM. So if something goes wrong inside the AVM, it will not affect other part of your computer or hard drive, except for that AVM. It does not spread outside the AVM. So this solves our first problem, the viruses will never be spread on your computer and smart contracts, they don't have any access to your private information on your hard drive. Now let's look at the second problem, that is the infinite loops or heavy computation. How would it solve? It is a tough problem to solve. This is where the concept of gas comes in. It's a cool solution which says any computation that runs on the blockchain needs to pay gas. Like for running a car, you need a gas. Here for performing any computation, you need to pay gas. Different operation and calculation cost different gas and here is some of the list. For addition or subtraction, it costs 3 units of gas. For multiplication or division, it costs 5 units of gas and so on like that. So every operation costs gas and you can see how it solves the problem. For a program with infinite loop or heavy computation, you will run out of gas. As gas is limited, it won't go on run forever or to infinity, which solves our problem. So this provides a solution to our problem. Moreover, there are also lots of other cool things that comes from this concept. This gas cost helps the developer to write more efficient code that takes only less gas. So the code will be optimized, which is a good thing, as developers will try to find out the most gas efficient code to the problem. So I think this is a very smart solution. Now through the concept of gas fee, it must be more clear between the Bitcoin and Ethereum. Ethereum is not just a cryptocurrency transacting money from one person to another, but it is meant for building the platform, taking the blockchain to the next level than just for transaction money where people can run codes on the blockchain, create application and pay for it. So gas helps to prevent people from abusing the blockchain as they have to pay for their action so they will use it more efficiently. So we talk about the two problems, viruses and access to private file, then infinite loops. And how Ethereum solves this problem. I hope you learned something new today and so on this note, I will see you in the next video.